Lab here to introduce you to my newest little lamp, the model M7, built in a blonde wood zenith radio cabinet. It's a very cool little lamp. It runs all 7-pin miniature tubes. Let me give you a little guided tour. So here's the D-Lab model M7 boutique amp. A very basic design. This knob here is just your volume control. Over here is your rotary power select. So right now we're at off. Standby just fires up the tube filaments so she can warm up. Tube would be the tube rectifier, the 6x4. And then of course diode rectification would be the 1N4007 diodes, right? Now here's the cool part. The stamp is on. Now take a listen. Do you hear anything coming out of that speaker? No. We'll bring up the volume full bore. A little bit of hiss, but absolutely no hum from this amp. This thing is a super nice, quiet, Class A design. So the challenge was on this amp was to build it using all 7-pin miniature tubes. And that's what we got going here. We have a pair of 6AV6s taking the place of a 12AX7. They go into the 6AQ5 output tube through the transformer to the internal 8-inch speaker. Over here you've got a 6X4 rectifier. And what's really nice about this amp is if you want to play with some tones you could get say some 6AT6s and put those in to change gain and the character of this amp. The other thing I gotta point out is this amp does not have tone controls. You just saw that single volume control on the front panel but this amp has a response control and if you look, you can sweep from the Marshall sound, straight up it's more like a Champ sound, and over here would be a Fender Deluxe. On my earlier amps I called this the Optiplex control. That's pretty much what it is. It's a panning control to adjust the frequency response of your preamp tubes. Here's your input jack for your guitar. Here's your speaker jacks. So if you were to plug in an external speaker, 4 or 8 ohm, it automatically turns off the internal speaker. So let's see what it sounds like. Alright, so I'm going to attempt to play a D chord and since I'm all tied up trying to hold this stupid guitar and hit these strings, I have my assistant that is going to be adjusting the controls. So right now we're in the tube rectifier mode and the optiplex or response knob at the back is set at Marshall. Okay. So let me strum it. Now this is the internal 8 inch speaker. Alright now, take it up to like 12 o'clock position. So this would be like the champ sound. I don't know how you guys play these things. Go all the way to deluxe. Here's the deluxe sound. A little fuller. Now, take that back down to the other position. I just dropped my pick. <laughs> now we're in the diode mode. Lost my pick, but I'll try it with my fingers. So, here we go again. Remember, this is diode mode, built in speaker. Good thing I'm not in a band. Deluxe. Here's the deluxe mode. So you can hear as you advance that control, it gets fuller, which is like the sound of the good old Fender Deluxe that we all love. Now, I'm going to hook up the big mambo jumbo speaker and we'll do this all again. Alright, we're doing the same thing but not using the internal speaker. This time we are hooked to the dual Celestion 12 inch cabinet and 8 ohm mode. Same deal, I'm going to strum my guitar. Here we go. Champ mode. 
over look look at what that did to my fingers and I did that for you guys anyway there it is the model M7 all seven pin miniature tubes with an additional socket right there on the nose hope you enjoyed it see you again D-Lab